From the instant that the Blessed Virgin Mary accepted the eternal plan of God and the mystery of the Incarnate Word, she also deserved to be called Mother of Good Counsel. Decree Ex Quo Beatissima Vergine, April the 22nd, 1903, by which Pope Leo XIII had the invocation Mater Boni Concili, Ora Pro Nobis, added to the Litany of Loreto. Our Lady of Good Counsel is a title given to the Blessed Virgin Mary, often referring to the episode at the wedding feast at Cana, during which Mary utters the last words attributed to her by the Gospels, Do whatever He tells you, the most excellent of counsels. I think that everybody needs advice. Who can give better advice than a mother? The Madonna del Buon Consiglio, Our Lady of Good Counsel, is also the title given to the Virgin Mary, after a painting said to be miraculous, was found in the 13th century in an Augustinian church in the town of Genazzano, about 30 miles southeast of Rome. This unique icon has been the seat of devotion for countless popes and saints throughout the centuries, including St. John XXIII, St. John Paul II, and St. Teresa of Calcutta. The late Pope Benedict XVI even had an image of the icon placed in the Vatican Gardens in 2009. But what makes this icon unique, and why has it spread with such an international devotion? We are at the sanctuary of Mother of Good Counsel in Genazano, and I wanted to explain how this sanctuary came about. Now let's start with this painting. On the site where the Basilica of Our Lady of Good Counsel stands today, there was already an ancient church built in the 11th century called Santa Maria del Buon Consiglio. In the 15th century, a pious widow named Petruccia put all her possessions at her disposal to rebuild the church. Her funds were insufficient and her fellow citizens began to mock her. But the pious woman answered them, My children, do not worry, for before I die, the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Augustine will complete this church. According to tradition, not long after Petruccia's prediction, on April the 25th, 1467, the Feast of St. Mark, at the time of Vespers, an image of the Blessed Virgin Mary miraculously appeared. The townspeople suddenly heard the church bells, and a mysterious cloud descended on the unfinished wall of the church. In front of the people, the cloud dissipated, and a beautiful fresco, no more than 18 inches square, of the Virgin Mary and the Christ Child was revealed. It was widely believed that it had been miraculously transported from a church in Albania just prior to its invasion by the Ottomans. In this painting, you see two Albanian pilgrims leaving Škodra and coming here to Genazano. They are following Our Lady. Even today, this tradition is alive, both in Genazano, which celebrates the coming of the holy image on April the 25th each year, but also among Catholic Albanians who invoke the Mother of Good Counsel under the title of Our Lady of Albania. The population was stunned not only by the extraordinary event, but also by the countless miracles that occurred after the apparition of the image of Our Lady of Good Counsel. Here in Genazano, 162 miracles were recorded in a codex that a father, acting as a notary, compiled. The miracles happened between April and August. The graces and miracles received by the citizens of Genazano were recorded by a notary and then were transcribed in special registers that were preserved. Between April the 27th and August the 14th, 1467 alone, 161 miracles were recorded. Here we are. We have entered the chapel that is the heart of the sanctuary. The Virgin Mary's blue mantle represents humanity, while the child's red dress represents the divinity of Christ. The depiction of the mother displays features of the classical tradition, while the face of the sun depicts Byzantine features, thus expressing an embrace between the west and the east, all of this sealed by the colors of the rainbow of peace above. Many popes came here to ask Our Lady of Good Counsel for advice. Pope Urban VIII asked that the plague in Rome would cease. Pope Pius IX came to ask Our Lady's help for the First Vatican Council. Pope John XXIII, he came here for help for the Second Vatican Council. And there, at the top, 
we have St. John Paul II who came here to bring a copy of the image to send to Albania in order to consecrate Albania to Our Lady of Good Counsel. We have finished our visit of this basilica. We invite everyone to come here to pray to Our Lady because she is the mother of good counsel. We all need good advice, especially when it comes from a mother. In the following episode, we'll continue to examine the history and devotion of Our Lady of Good Counsel and visit another sanctuary that holds the same name. <laughs>